Link for the final project file is in the description. You can download and play around with the scene. Okay, let's get it started. Uh, the circular spline, change it to XZ, decrease its size, add it to extrude, enter minus value to extrude, ND, go to top view, on the circle object attribute, enter number 5, and use uniform. Right click on extrude, connect object and delete, delete all this selection tags, Come to top view, select the object, come to poly mode, NK, connect these two vertices together. Okay. Now just select this and this, UI to invert the selection, delete everything else. Come to top view, add everything inside the null, rotate the object on the R edge for minus seven and a half degree. Okay, check the object and it's null. Orientation to be like this. Object, one of the axes is along this edge. And for the null, it is same as work axis. Add a symmetry generator to the scene. Put the null inside the symmetry. Make the symmetry radial. Enter 24 for the slice count. Select the object, come to edge mode, grab this edge, push it down, select this side, insert, okay, E, delete this edge, delete this polygon, let's turn off the warp plane for now, come to right view, select this point, T, hold down shift, make it zero, ML, add a loop cut, somewhere like here select the middle polygon push it a little bit inward also add two loop cuts here ml one closer to center one closer to the polygon that we pushed ul grab this edge push it down grab the center polygon make it narrower also grab the top edge, select orientation X for the word axis, grab this edge, push it down, put the symmetry inside the connect object, put connect object inside the subdivision surface to see what would it be like at the end. Let's turn off the subdivision surface for now, select the object again, select these two polygons, Push them up. Now we are getting closer to the shape of the Coca-Cola cap. From now on, it is mostly playing with the position and the scale of the polygons. Let's add another edge and this polygon ML. Add an edge here. Select this edge. Right click. Click on top bar here. Then select set flow. Drag on a screen to make it a little bit curved like this. Much better now. Come back to polygon mode, come back to side view, E, select edge mode, grab this edge and push it side. But we want to mirror what we do on the opposite side at the same time. So turn on enable symmetry for now, select its gear and select Z axis and use a space global. Close the window, come to right view. Now when I changed one side, it is mirroring the changes on the opposite side at the same time. Push down this part also. Select this left edge for the orientation. Select the object. Now it is along the object axis. Push it out a little bit to make this sides curve. Or having further more control over the overall shape, put the connect inside the null, then put a bevel deformer inside the null as a child turn it off for now select extrude select this edge come to select a store selection select bevel put the selection inside selection turn on the bevel turn off use angle now you can play around with the offset to change this this part curvature come back to the object on the polygon mode Select everything here and push them down a little bit. You can play around with the bevel offset for defining the curvature. 
it's okay for now <laughs> let's add everything from subdivision surface inside the connect object again now let's add an fft deformer click on fit to parent and tree on each of the grid points is okay for now go to point mode go to front view select everything on the bottom part of the fft deformer t for scale grab this handle and push it out to make this kind of curvature on the cap now it's much more appealing save the file for now we will name it coca cap v1.5 okay. for better performance from now on let's turn off the subdivision surface come back to a 50 deformer fit to parent okay let's put everything inside the null call it cap duplicate it put it inside the archive null turn it off turn off subdivision surface for performance issue for now come back to fft fit to parent again and make everything editable okay save the file select cloner object rename the cap again put cap inside cloner come to front view on the cloner object count show sub channels here click count enter 10 hold and control enter okay randomize the position by adding a random effector come to front view you can play around for the random effector position parameters you can play around with these values and a select the cloner again add push apart to vector come to top view and a increase radius until they are not touching each other i think this is okay for now we also want to flip some of the caps so then the cloner object again this time add a shader effector come to fields on the shader effector also add a shader field here after selecting the shader field come to shader here search for noise add noise select the noise change it type to this line cell noise come down increase the contrast also increase the low clip until getting something like this select shader effector again come back to parameters turn off a scale turn on rotation and on the p rotation enter 180. now as you can see some of them are rotated toward up okay select cloner right click come to simulation tags click on this add rigid body add a cube scale it up come to side view push it push it down decrease its size from this side select the cube on the x and z select both while holding down control and drag on the values by holding down control to change both values at the same time we want to make something like a simple box from this cube also increase increase the y value here make the cube editable delete this top polygon we want to add depth to the box so put the cube inside the thicken generator nd increase the thickness this is okay for now i think right click make connect object plus delete add collider on the thicken object for now rename it to box put it under cloner object and a okay let's see if the simulation works correct if we play or not hit play wait a little bit and as you can see it's working okay some changes we need to apply let's first increase the timeline to something like 200 frames come to top view select the box decrease its size from these two axes z and x select the rigid body come to collision collision shape use something like a box for better performance go back to the start of the timeline hit play again okay it's okay it's good come back to beginning it's working okay for now let's make the shader save the file or maybe even save as the file open material tab 
double click add the material open it for now let's turn off cloner zoom on the object let's first make the cap thicker select the cap add it into a thicken generator decrease the thickness i think this much is okay for now and d make a copy of it under archive connect object and delete and thicken object come to edge mode ul to select edge loop select this edge loop uf select everything inside we want to assign two different material one for inside it and one for outside the cap and the inside after selecting grab the material and drag and drop it on the selection for this one we want to make it a shiny silver like metal come to material drag and drop material here come to base property select something like a silver connect output to the surface for the output node did it rs standard for now okay now let's make the material for this side of the cap double click here add another material on the rs standard select the red color for it for ior select the high value like five roughness zero you want it to be shinier than normal let also add ambient occlusion for more pleasing result add a o node here also let's add a ramp output of the a o to the input of the alt input of a ramp we want to add this to both weight for the base and the reflection of the sun or material so come to weight click on this circle showing node editor click on this circle show node editor add output color to both of these weights you can play around with the ramp also add the material to the object we forgot to delete this after making a connect object from it so let's delete this one as you can see it's working but we, we need to reorder the materials here to be able to see the other material at the bottom so grab this one put it before the silver and now you can see the bottom is silver like and top is red let's also cache the simulation enable clone an object again zoom out a little bit and a come to cache cache sim and wait until it finishes after it's finished you can simply change the position of the time indicator to see the result really fast okay let's also see what's happening from the render view for now let's add the area right here add the null grab the null push it down to this rough position on the rs right add target tag drag the null into target object we can change the position of lights now scale the light we want to see very sharp specular on the cap head so change the angle of the light to be very sharp at the side let's also add a camera duplicate the target tag onto a camera also select the camera alt zero push it up and the camera object focal length enter something like a 150 go to camera view go to coordinate push it up until you are happy with what you are seeing now let's turn on the rs render view from here save the file hit play button now we are getting somewhere for now i will close this material tab and put the rs render view here not much better the only thing that we need to do is adding the coca-cola logo at top of each cap so for now let's turn off cloner come to top view zoom on the cap also turn off the render view let's open material add a new material open it i have downloaded the logo of the coca-cola from internet you can grab it from the project file at the description or you can simply search for coca-cola logo and download it i drag and drop the image here 
you need RS standard node from here. Add a RAM to convert this to black and white image. RAM add it to the alt input. Also add it to the surface. Okay. Come to RAM. Right click here. Change the interpolation to a step. Drag this white value until you see Coca-Cola and everything else is completely black. Let's also add a material layer. Very layer. Okay. Take out output color from this and put it on the base material color and I'll put it on surface. Put it on the material at the end of the material stack. Come to projection, select cubic, crayon of tiling. Come here, select texture mode. T for scale. Play with the scale until you get a appropriate ratio. It's okay for now. It is applying the texture also on some sides. So we want it to only be at this top. So select the cap. Let's also rename it also here to cap. Cap. Select the cap. Come to polygon mode. O. Increase the size. Select everything on the top part select the store selection add this new added selection onto the selection part for this new material that we just created let's check if everything is working correctly select right shift here and start rpr it's working okay for now turn off a start rpr from here turn back on cloner grab time indicator and put it at somewhere like 140 Go back to camera view, turn on redshift camera again, and as you can see, it's working okay. You can render out the whole scene by clicking on the render picture viewer here. Wait for a bit. The render finally finished. You can see the result. You can also save image as. You can select any format you like. Okay. And select the directory on your computer and and you can open it after it and that was all for this video bye bye